so hey guys welcome back to another video fox android so in this video we will be building a calculator app so we will be building this app from the scratch right so it is a very basic app so i would recommend if you are a beginner or a just above the beginner level then you must watch that video because it might be the first app that you will be building a complete app that you will be building from the scratch right so we'll be designing this app we'll be writing the backend code for that as well so it will be a single activity file only but i guess you'll learn a lot that how we create an app right how we build the whole uh, thing right so starting from a small app is a very good way to do it so it was my first app when i started uh, learning android development so i built the calculator app only so i want you to also start from this app because uh, it goes well with my uh, career right so let me just demonstrate how this app gonna look like so let me just open it up so you can see uh, i am not opening this app in the emulator because it's creating some issues uh, with this new uh, version of the android studio emulator is creating a lot of issues it gets crashed when you tap on some buttons i don't know why it's happening so that's why i have just opened up uh, in my cell phone and i'm just chromecasting on my laptop with the wireless display right so this will be the layout right the, these are the buttons and we have the operators on this calculator so here if i type anything you can see right i'm typing on the above text view and the results is displayed on the bottom text view and live data is calculated you can see that so if i just tap on this c so the area where i'm typing the data is get, getting clear and if i type this ac that means all clear everything is clear then i can again start typing right and the result is displayed live so whatever i'm typing it's calculating the live results so whenever i type or erase anything so is a button to erase the data so automatically it's getting calculated so this is what we'll be building by the end of this tutorial so if you want to learn the same make sure you watch this video till the end so without much ado let's get started So guys if you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So let us just create a new project real quick and we will be using Kotlin as the backend language and if you are here for Java don't watch this tutorial and I don't think so that I will be creating a tutorial for Java as if now because you know that now new things are getting rolled out like uh, Flutter is a completely new thing and we have to use Dart as the backend language but in Jetpack Compose also we have to use Kotlin so I would recommend now that it is a good time to switch to Kotlin just don't go for uh, Java as the backend code I might uh, upload some solutions based on Java but I will not be building any app a complete app based on Java as the backend language right so I'll be using Kotlin here and I'll be taking an empty activity let's just call it a calculator app only right so calculator tutorial yeah kotlin 24 looks good let's just finish it so yeah let's wait for getting it to be finished then we'll resume right okay guys the build has been completed so first we'll be designing the front end thing then we'll move to the back end code right so uh, i have this activity so there will be a single activity only this app is based on single activity so let's just delete this text view and now we need a linear layout the parent layout will be constraint layout only and we need the vertical linear layout and inside this we need another linear layout that will be the horizontal one yeah it's good so after that let's just go to the split window and here i need two text views basically right oops text view and the width should be match parent and the height should be wrap content and let's just put some data yeah let's put some text let's call it 24 plus 45 and the color for this should be black as if now and yeah this is the linear layout and i want to set the height for this as wrap content okay so 
this okay let's just set to match parent only because i want to set some constraints so yeah i'll set the bottom constraint to bottom only and on the size as well i'll set it to parent now i'll just change it to wrap content yeah looks good and now i'll just constrain the bottom of this to the top of this thing and the size will constrain it to parent only right and we need another text view and this should match parent height should wrap content and let us just put a text just to check the thing is equal to five six seven something like that and yeah the text color will set it to black for this time and now i'll constrain this to the parent the bottom i'll constrain to the top of this text view right and that that is it we'll just modify these things now this is my horizontal uh, layout right so if you have seen the calculator app we need the five buttons in this so i'll be using material button and the width i'll just set it to 72 tp 72 tp right looks good and the another thing that we want is we want to style it to the standard floating action button we want to corner radius let us just give it 36 tp what does it look like okay let's keep it 36 tp yeah it's a circular button right looks good so the background tint should be white i guess yeah looks good so this will be at button so what i'll do is for this thing i'll just uh, declare a style in the themes file right because we need a lot of buttons around uh five four 20 buttons are required right so we'll just define a style here we'll just go to our themes and here we'll uh, define the style for a button and we'll be using that style only in every button right so let's just uh, declare a style I'll just name it as a common button and this will extend this thing yeah now here we can define the attributes to so item and I'll just set the width layout width I'll set it to 72 dp yeah and then I'll set the height as well layout height as 72 tp as well another attribute was to set the background I guess so we'll set the background no not in the common mm, layout we don't want to set the background and another thing that was required okay we'll just set it afterwards so i'll just take another style and i'll name it as digit button and the parent for this will be common button right so here we'll define the common attributes in this style right in common button but the digit button will inherit all these attributes and we have the operator button as well the only difference is the text color and the background right so the background for this will be oops, item, I have to type item so background for the digit button should be white if i'm not wrong yeah and the text color text color was black yeah not black actually we have to define certain colors that will be using in this app so i have these colors let me just copy it pause the video here and make sure you also type these colors otherwise you can uh, use any color right 
so these are the colors yeah then we have uh, the style uh, we'll just name it as not the digit button so we have done that so i'll name it as operator button right and the parent for this will be common button only so item and the text color for this will be button background 2 that we have defined here in the colors file right and i guess the background for both the buttons will be white so i'll just put it to the common layout only so now let us just try to implement this here uh, i just let us just set the text as one all right yeah so now if i delete all this stuff what happens let's check digit button it was not there okay corner corner radius is not there i guess yeah we haven't defined the corner radius here so let's just do that real quick corner radius and it was 36 db to make a circle button now it should change oops yeah done and why is not taking the background we have set the background i guess oops okay 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 yeah now this one actually background tint should be white now it should work so, yeah it works right so now what i'll do is i'll just uh, one more thing i'll do before copying it so we'll set the on click uh, method so we'll just name it as on digit click right i'll just copy this and i'll just paste it to like four buttons right i'll just paste it four times now we have got this single row now i'll just copy this single row and we need five rows so i'll just paste it five times two three four five yeah we have got the five rows now we'll just uh, set the spacing and all those stuff so let me just go to styles so here we need to set certain uh, margins so we'll just set that so first we'll set the text size as 32 dp then we want to set the layout margin Twelve dp let's check how it goes yeah now we have got the equal spacing right and this is our horizontal layout we'll set the gravity as center yeah we'll just copy this stuff here and paste it in all the layouts i guess looks good right so now let us just yeah. so okay it's quite messed up so just uh, simply tap ctrl alt l right it will just format your code so this is the button this will be the digits right so it should go one two three and this should be three right so we'll just let me just quickly uh, change the text right the simple step let me just quickly do that will not waste any time here 
to three. So oh, not this one. Let's just keep it like this. Seven. okay guys i have set the text that are there right so the last row should have is equal to this is dot zero ac then we have digits and these are the operators we just see simply type that uh, and for this this particular button we need a drawable source file so just go here to vector assets <coughs> here i should search erase let me just search back yeah backspace we'll just take this next finish this button i'll set the icon for this yeah delete the text and the intent should be yeah looks good right so now we have to uh, just style this so let's just go to themes the operator button okay we have already done that i guess just set this to this one the style to operator button just copy this and just go here paste it here as well last one i guess this one later button okay it's getting created Okay, let's just build this so okay you can see now the text color has been changed and this one should be a c not single a okay we have to reduce the text size for this let's try 20 dp yeah now ac is visible right so now what one more thing that we have forgot is we have to add a view so make sure you type the capital v right so you take that view only so view the width should be match parent and the height should be wrap content not wrap content actually it should be one dp let's just set the background to the line color that we have defined uh, where is it yeah so we have to set it to the top of this i can see let's just give it a margin margin bottom let's try 12 dp how it looks well, dp is too much i guess 8 dp should work 6 dp maybe yeah and one more thing we just want to consider this to the top of this one let me just delete this constraint first hmm. where is this text view 
constraint bottom we'll just delete this constraint and not this one this text here yeah. so we'll just delete this constraint and we want to set this constraint to the top of the view line i mean again speaking of that thing only so i'll just manually type it constraint bottom to the top of okay we don't have a it for this let's just uh, give it an id of line only right so now i'll just constrain it to line yeah okay now you must have understood that we have constrained the line to the top of this linear layout and then we have uh, line this uh, text views as well so now we want to set the text alignment looks good and we want to give it a margin margin end let's just try 12 dp let's just see that how it looks it looks good and one more thing we want to just increase the text size let's try 28 dp how it goes ah, looks good so now we'll just copy these three things and we'll just paste it here right and here we want to set this and this should be equal to something like that and the text color should be little bit grayish so custom just go for the gray one like this yeah result should not be in black and one more thing we want to set the uh, visibility of this as gone because when the user types it we do not want that they should be only visible when uh, user types something so visibility has gone you can see that this comes down right so i guess we are pretty much done with it uh, one more thing we have to give it id to all the buttons so let me just quickly do that as well so okay guys we have given the id to all the digits buttons and we need to give id to these buttons as well so i'll just manually give it id and this is e equal button underscore equal right just copy this dot this should be all clear subtract add we 
multiply divide modulo back and this should be clear right and we want to change this to on clear click on back click operator whenever any operator is being clicked we want to call it as a one operator click right i'll just simply paste this here this is on equal click yeah we just want to create a new method for this on equal click on all clear click right so now we have to create these methods create on clear create on equal create on digit create on operator create on back click clear on clear right so i guess we are good to go for now if any changes are required we'll do that afterwards so i guess we are pretty much done with the front end part now let's just see that all those methods are created here you can see all those methods are created here so before proceeding with the back end part we need to make certain changes in build out gradle the very first thing that we need to do is the view binding we have to enable that so yeah view binding as true now let us just sync this project or we should have copied the we have to implement one more library one more not one more actually only one library so i have that library here let me just copy it so yeah I'll, I'll provide a file in the description below right a link to the file in the description you can just copy the colors that we're using in the app, and this library will be there you just sync now so just copy it from there and paste it in the app level build.gradle so i guess the sync has been completed now let us just go to our main activity so okay guys let's first just uh, get done with our view binding thing so we'll just declare that well binding and binding is equal to activity main binding dot inflate we'll just pass the layout inflator here and here we'll pass binding dot root right so this is all that we need to do for view binding and now let us just uh, declare certain variables so the first one is uh, last numeric so this particular boolean variable will check if the last entered number was numeric or not the second one is state error so if there is any error 
in the statement passed by the user it will check that and the last one will be last dot and we'll set it to false as well so the, if the last uh, entered digit is dot then it will track that right and one more thing that we need to define is private latent pair and let me just name it as expression of this so this is the library that we implemented right so the reference variable for that we have declared that right so let us just first create a function called on equal right so basically what this function will do is it will uh, evaluate the expression that the user will enter for example in this particular text view whenever the user enters that expression that will be evaluated with the help of that this function and the result will be displayed right and one more thing uh, we haven't given it id so let us just give it id and this one is the upper one so that means data tv let me just text view because right name it like that and let's just name it as result text view to change it here as well right so okay so inside on equal function what we'll do is so we'll check if last numeric that means the last thing enter that is numeric and there is no state error then well text is equal to binding dot uh, data tv dot text dot to string right so we'll get this string here that is entered by the user in this particular text view i guess this is the data text view so we have got that text now so expression is equal to expression builder and we'll pass the text here dot build right so we have got the expression now we'll use the try catch block so inside this try block we'll be trying to uh, just evaluate this expression so we'll try to calculate the value of this expression right so here what we'll do is val result is equal to expression dot evaluate right so that means we are evaluating it and after that what we'll do is binding dot uh, result tv dot visibility is equal to uh, view dot visible right because uh, as if now this particular thing is gone the visibility is set to gone right but as soon as we evaluate anything we want it to get visible right and after that binding dot result tv dot text is equal to we want that is equal to plus a result so yeah we'll just uh, set the text view for the result tv is is equal to plus result that we have got from this expression let us set the catch block as to throw arithmetic exception yeah so we'll just log that log dot e uh, evaluate errors and we'll set x dot to string right so yeah this is the catch block and we can do one more thing we can set the this is equal to 
and state error as true as well and last numeric we can set it to false right because we want to reset everything uh, as soon as this exception is thrown right so we want to set the state error true and last numeric to false so i guess we are pretty much done with this particular function so this is the function yeah so now let us just implement on digit click so as soon as the user uh, taps on any digit what we want to do is so there will be two conditions if there is a condition of state error so binding dot data tv dot text is equal to view as button dot text and we want to set the straight error as false right else if this is not the case so if this is not the case we just simply want to set binding dot data tp dot text dot append sorry data tv dot append view as button dot text right so we'll just add uh, whatever text user whatever digit user has typed we'll just append it with the existing tag after that we'll call on equal it's not getting on equal because o is capital so we'll just change it to like this yeah now it should get it so we'll just call on equal and also we'll set now numeric as true yeah so this is on digit click now what we want to do is whenever user wants to tap on this ac button that means all clear we want to clear everything so for this nothing data tv dot text is equal to empty yeah so binding dot result tv dot text is also empty and we want to set the state error as false last dot as false as well last numeric as false and binding dot result tv dot visibility as view dot right so whenever user taps we want to delete all the stuff and we want to set the initial parameters that means state error last dot and last numeric is false and we want to set the visibility of the result text view as gone right so if user taps on on click button then what we want to do is we want to call on equal method and also we want to set the data text as binding dot result tv dot text dot to string right we want uh, that whatever the result is there then we want to set it to the data tv only so this is what on click equal will do right yeah so and i guess we have to drop is equal to in that case so we'll just call dot drop and we'll pass one here right so on digit on equal on clear has been implemented now we'll just implement on operator click so whenever user taps on on equal that means these many operators right so what we want to do is uh, we'll check if not in the state error and 
previous and last numeric last one is numeric and binding dot data tv dot append and here what we want to do is we want to pass us button dot text right so we'll just append that and after that we'll set last dot as false last numeric as false as well and we'll just call on equal right so yeah whenever user taps on any operator button we'll just append the data and then we'll call on equal and we'll set all these two things to false right so after that we have on back click so what is the back button so what this button will do is it will just uh, delete the last character right so we just want to uh, delete the last operator or the digit whatever is there in the last place so for that so binding dot data tv dot text is equal to binding dot data tv dot text dot full string dot drop the last thing right or we should call it draw drop last so we just want to drop the last thing and now try inside the try block what we'll do is we'll get the uh, last character in the new string so binding dot data dot text dot to string dot last so we'll just uh, get this character right and we'll check if last character is digit then we'll call on equal right so if the last thing is digit then we'll call the on equal method because if there is an operator while deleting the last character operator is there right then this particular thing will throw the error right because that expression will not be valid we should have something after the operator you can't just end the expression by the operator right so after that we'll just put the catch block exception so if there is any exception binding dot result tv text is equal to nothing right and binding dot result tv dot visibility is equal to dot on and also we just want to log the error right so the last error dot to string so we have implemented on back click as well now let us just implement this on clear click so whenever user taps on this button right we just want to delete the data in the upper text view where live data is fetched right so for that binding dot data tv dot text is equal to this and last numeric is equal to false right we want to uh, set the last numeric as false here so i guess we have implemented all the members right and one more thing let's find out this button so here we want the text color as white and the background tint as
right this is equal to we want it in this manner so i guess we are pretty much done with everything now let us just test this app if there is any error we'll just try to resolve it right so yeah let me just install it to my cell phone because i've told you that this emulator is creating some issue so let me just install it to my cell phone then we'll check if it is fucking fine or not right so guys okay, the app has been installed uh, there are two things that we need to modify the status bar color and we do not want this top bar right so for that what we'll do is we'll just go to our themes file and here we'll type no action bar and we'll set the status bar color to white and one more thing we need to set is light status bar to true right so now let us just reinstall the app so you can see now we don't have the top bar and it looks good and one more thing we just don't want this initial text now so let us just delete that as well just delete this and this as well on the app so you can see now i think it's perfect now let us try to operate this app so seven eight nine plus five six you can see it is calculating live data so yeah if i just tap back button if i type c so the live data that where we were typing right that got erased and if i just again type something so it's if i just now type all clear everything is clear then i can operate the app again so yeah i guess the app is working perfectly fine and we have successfully uh, designed our first app like so if anyone is watching this tutorial i assume that it might be his first app so we have successfully designed our first app that is completely functional here right you can see and it is also looking nice the you know the design is very good it good gives a good aesthetic uh, look to your app and you can do some more modifications like you can just uh play around with uh, the text view or something like that so this uh, the app is working perfectly fine and i also hope that you guys have understood the code right it was a very simple app one single activity and we have some uh, simple methods inside the main activity if your basics are clear then it is very easy to understand what we have done in this app but still in case you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram uh whenever i get time i do reply to your text on ig or do reply to your comments right i might not reply instantaneously and one more thing i'll not be providing the source code for this app because whenever i'm making a complete tutorial i want you to uh, write the code with your own hands right because some of you what you do is you just go to github my github repository just download the whole code and you use it wherever you want i just don't want that right I never provide the source code uh, for the full apps that I'm developing for any solutions I do provide the source code because I know that writing that is very difficult so for the this app right don't ask for the source code in the comments I'll not be writing any source code for this this is for your own benefit right so I hope that you like the tutorial if you do like the tutorial make sure to hit that thumbs up button and in case you are new to this channel then become the part of the family by tapping on that subscribe button and do press that bell notification icon as well that is addition to the subscribe button so, so that you get notification for the upcoming videos so that was pretty much for this video see another tutorial bye